Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to continue with transformations in PySpark and Spark SQL. Small bits at a time, but I will try to cover everything they teach in Databricks courses over a series of small videos. So this part is about nested JSON files and transformations. Let me show you the nested JSON file that I uploaded on the BFS. So this is the nested JSON file. As you can see, we have uh, nested fields here, medications, ACE inhibitors, etc., etc. And then we have another field called labs, and this is an array of nested objects. Perfect. So it's the perfect example for this case. And you can upload this JSON file on DBFS, so you can start playing around if you want. How can you do that? Actually, you go here in your user settings, admin settings actually, click on advanced, scroll down, enable the DBFS file browser. Once this is enabled, go into your catalog, browse DBFS, and you can upload whatever file you want, right? So let me go back to our notebook. And here we load this nested JSON file. It's uh, nested, so you need to use multi-line equals to true. So if we run this command here, we will see the data. Give it a, a few seconds. Yeah, as you can see, we have the data, labs, and medications because we had two, uh, two primary uh, fields, right? Labs and medications and the data. Now let's save this as a Spark table because we want to play around with SQL and uh, instead of, you can create a temporary view, but you can save the, uh, the data frame as a Spark table as well, whatever you prefer. And here we can select from this Spark table, test data, and we will see the same data again, right? So the first thing is that uh, how you can work with nested data. If you want the inner uh, element, you need to use dot, the dot syntax in queries to access subfields in struct types. For example, select from medications dot ace inhibitors dot name. So if you go into here, as you can see, medications, that's the column, then ace inhibitors, and then name. So if we run this command here, it should give you this name. That is Lizin, no pril, whatever that is, the, the name here, right? So you can do the same using iSpark, of course, the data frame dot, you can also add the condition where medications dot ace inhibitors dot name equals this one, this string here, and then you can select with the same, uh, the same way using dot, you can select the inner element you want. Uh, data frame medications dot ace inhibitors dot dose and that will give you the dose based on this condition so one tab if we scroll up here you will see those one tab here right okay so this is how you can access subfields in nested uh, json files moving on we have the schema of json that returns the schema derived from an example json string and from JSON that passes a column containing a JSON string into a struct type using the specified schema. So what you can do here using schema of JSON, how can you infer the schema? You go up here, you copy that, right? And you paste it here. And then if you run the command, you will get the schema of this JSON. So as you can see, it provides you the schema. Now you can use this schema, copy that, and you can paste it here, actually. And as you can see, we have a inner query, which we select from JSON, which is this one, this uh, function here that passes a column containing a JSON string, right? But before you, we do that, as you can see, I used to JSON, which is to convert a JSON, uh, a JSON object into JSON string, right? And then we pass the schema and we uh, provide an alias here as T 
and then we select t dot star which is to unnest the data so let me show you if we don't do that if we just sell select star here let's run this one and see what we get and then as you see we get exactly what we had before as t because we provided an alias here but if you do that t dot star now it's going to unnest the data as you can see now we have ace inhibitor as a column and all the data inside ace inhibitor perfect right and this is how you unnest you have to use uh, provide an alias and then dot star and you unnest the nested uh, json perfect and you can do the same thing using PySpark. of course you provide the json string and then you, you use um, the data frame dot select from json to json again to convert first to convert into uh, json string and then provide the uh, structure here that we manually provided provide an alias and select dot uh, t dot star to unnest the data it should give us exactly up the same result here and then we have how to manipulate arrays now explode which is a very 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 important function and actually very popular because it separates the elements of an array into multiple rows this creates a new row for each element we also have the size function here that provides account for the number of elements in an array for each row how let's create a temporary view called exploded views and we are going to select star use the explode function in this uh, labs uh, column here as you can see this is an array right so it's an array of elements one zero one two right three elements an array of three elements so if we scroll down again and we explode this column and we uh, rename it as item from test data we create a temporary view from this data and then we can select where size greater uh, than two so if we run this command it will give you the item here as you can see it exploded the inner items the inner objects here that's how convenient it is you don't have to do anything you just use the explode function and the size function if it's necessary just uh, but the explode function is the important one here and then we can do the same using PySpark data frame with column item we just create a new column explode the labs column here and we select from this data frame where size the labs column is greater than two and it should give us exactly the same result scroll to the right and you will see the item column the exploded one right perfect and then we have collect set collects unique values for a field including fields within arrays and the flattened function that combines multiple multiple arrays into a single array this is just data i got from uh, another tutorial tutorial on the internet as you can see so we provide a list of tuples as, as you can see here tuples 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 and then using spark.create data frame we create a data frame and we provide the column names name and languages and then we create a temporary view called test one two three right and if you use sql you can use select name collect list languages as languages aggregate or whatever from the temporary view we just created here and group by name and this will give you the language as you can see uh, if you use collect list it will give you also the duplicated uh, data if you want to dedupe the data to uh, remove the duplicates you can use collect set and you'll see the python now it's only one time instead of two and the same thing we can do here using pyspark data frame group by name aggregate collect set languages and provide an alias right and again the same thing happens here 
and the flatten uh, the flatten function that combines multiple arrays into a single array let's uh, do that the same thing we create a data frame we provide a list of data as you can see there is one column here with arrays right multiple arrays an array of one two three and then a second array with four and five and a third array with six so if you flatten the data and you can do that by using flatten dot uh, the column name here column one as we just uh, rename that column here and provide an alias or whatever and you will see the flattened data so remember it combines multiple arrays into a single array so we have three arrays here with data and it co combines all the data into a single array and the same thing you can do using sql of course and it flattens the data that was it for today guys easy as pie nothing fancy but as we said we proceed step by step hope you learned something new i will upload the json and the notebook on github if you want to have a look please subscribe to the channel click the like button leave a comment and i will see you in the next one thank you